wondering what Google Shared Drive is and how you can use it? I'm Chanel Greco from Saparis, and in this video, I'll cover Google Shared Drive. In this video, we will be covering three topics. First, what is Shared Drive and who can use it? Second, how can you manage Shared Drives? Third, when should you use Shared Drives and when not? Let's start with the first topic, what is Google Shared Drive and who can use it? Well, to put it simple, Shared Drive is a part of Google Drive. And it's the place where you, together with your team members or, the, or members of your organization, share files and folders. Shared Drive behaves a bit differently compared to My Drive. For instance, whatever is on a shared drive belongs to the team. That means that if, let's say, Jane Example leaves her team, leaves the company, whatever is on the shared drive stays on the shared drive. But whatever is on Jane Example's My Drive will disappear once her Google account is deleted. You can add external users, that is people who are outside of your organization to a shared drive if you choose to do so. And you can also synchronize your files between shared drive or Google Drive, as a matter of fact, and your computer by using Google Drive file stream. If you don't know what that is or you would like some guidance on how to install this, let's say on your Mac computer, then have a look at the video that I'm linking right about now and that I will also be mentioning in the description section below. On to the second topic, how can you manage shared drives? It depends. It depends on the setup that your Google Workspace admin has defined. It might be necessary that you contact that admin that she or he creates a new shared drive for you. Here at Saparis, we have set up our organization's account so that any user, so any Saparis user can create the, their own shared drive or create a new shared drive for their team. And that's what I will be demonstrating now. In this footage, we see how Jane Example is accessing her shared drives and she's right clicking and creating a new shared drive. So she goes ahead and gives it a fitting name. The new shared drive has been created and Jane now has the option of managing, that is adding members to the shared drive. She's adding Adam and she has the option of changing the permission level on the shared drive and consequently this has an effect on all the files and folders within this shared drive. Sharing permissions are different to the permissions that you probably know from Google My Drive. Have a look at the permissions here and I also will be linking this resource in this description section below. Please note that there is one restriction that you have to keep in mind. When you make someone, let's say, a content manager on a shared drive, just as Jane has made Adam, you can't go and then just only make him a viewer on a file that lives within that shared drive. So you can't give someone less sharing permissions on a specific file that is in a shared drive where they actually have more sharing permissions. So you can't restrict, but you can expand. So let's say um, if Adam only has viewing rights on the shared drive, you can make him an editor on a file that is within that shared drive. So you can give him more rights, but you can't restrict those rights on file or folder um, level. Please note that you can also change some of the default settings when it comes to managing your shared drive. You can define that people outside your organization or people who are simply not member of your shared drive can be added to files or also that viewers and commenters cannot download or print these files. Now on to our last topic, when should you use Google Shared Drive and when not? I suggest you use Google Shared Drive when you want files to belong to the team. You want to share files with your team without having to add every member manually to any new file or folder. I suggest you do not use Google Shared Drive 
when files are only meant for yourself or let's say they're your personal meeting notes that no one else has to read. You want to be very restrictive about sharing files. Do you and your team already use Google Share Drive? Let me know in the comment section below. Also let me know if you have any question or you want any suggestions from me about Google Share Drive. Just write it in the comment section below. Would you mind subscribing to my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below? Because every week I publish new video tutorials all about Google Workspace and I would not want you to miss out on any of those videos.